And what's going on everyone, this is Keith from WCCF Tech TV and today we're going to take a quick look at how to use Ansel in Mass Effect Andromeda. Now for those not familiar with it, Ansel is the technology that GeForce and the guys over at NVIDIA have implemented into their newer driver stacks. It's uh, available on use on the GTX 900 series and the 10 series. May be available on the other ones, not 100% sure, but it's being injected into more and more games as time goes on. Early on, The Witcher 3 was about all you could get it with, and here recently we've seen it pop up in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon The Wildlands, as well as here in Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, all we're going to do today is just kind of take a look at what happens when you select it and how it works and what you can do with it. So, if you you've got to have GeForce Share enabled, as far as I'm aware, and when you're in the game that supports it and in a part of the game that will allow you it doesn't seem to let you do it in cutscenes right now that may be updated I don't know but right now you just hit alt F2 and now you've entered the Ansel uh, interface so you're able to click drag move around move the camera around you're able to go up down within a certain window to take a look at the world so Let's go ahead and zero in on a place. Let's just say we want to get Mr. Ryder here and uh, want to kind of get a look at him around the world. So I'm going to start over here with the filters. You get a filter type, none, black and white, and you can adjust the intensity in each one of these. So half tone, so yeah, go half tone to retro, give it an old school vibe. Whoa. All right, so then you got sepia, yay. All right, we're gonna go back to none so that we can look through the adjustments. You got brightness adjustments. You can adjust that however you want to. Contrast, same thing. Uh, vibrance to make the colors more brighter or take it down to make it very mute. Effects we got, we got sketch. Of course, gives it a sketched look. Uh, color enhancer to enhance the colors, obviously. Uh, vignette gives you that nice little um, border you can do a grid so that you can line things up so if you say you want to um, line things up back there with that Let's see there's a you can do the roll we'll take the we'll go ahead and jump down here to uh, the camera functions while we've got this pulled up so you can take a look at it so you get your field of view you can increase it decrease it and leave it right there at 90 then you've got your roll so you can take the camera and you can actually try to roll it up obviously do that so now once you kinda let's just say I wanted to let's see we're just gonna go ahead and do something a little different here just kinda get an idea brighten it up let's see and I want to increase the field of view so that you can see more in the in, in here. All right, so gonna go up so we can see the tempest there. All right, so and once you've got it, kind of how you want the picture, you can do the capture type. You can do a just a standard screenshot. You can hit snap and you're done. Now you can hit super resolution where it upscales it to these larger resolutions and it'll actually render. Now you see that's 30 gigs. That's huge. It'll actually re-render the scene in that resolution and take the image there rather than taking this image and upscaling it actually renders it at that resolution so then you've got full 360 degree and what that'll do is it'll let you actually be able to share uh, this image and be able to look all around just like that even on Facebook or for VR users which is kinda cool and I do have stereo well, actually 360 just to look around then you have a uh, stereo for like a 3d image of that and then 360 stereo that's what will give you the full 3D look for VR users that way you can take a shot in a game and be like hey dude this is where I was in the game but easy enough and once you pick where you're gonna go um, let's say screenshot hit snap boom it saves it to this directory and then you just go in there and you pull the picture and do whatever you want to with it when you're done you just hit done and you return right back to the game so that has been GeForce Ansel with use in Mass Effect Andromeda, and this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you all in the next video.